Okay, everybody. Today I'm going to show you uh, Affinity Designer's Pixel Persona, and I'm going to show you how to take something like this that you've done in Vector and how to easily just take with some uh, pixel brushes and kind of bring it into a little bit more realistic uh, look, you know, still keeping that vector vibe, but, you know, giving it some texture and stuff. So this is really where Affinity stands out from Illustrator is what I'm going to show you here and, and uh, how to, you know, kind of take this is like the one thing illustrator just doesn't really do that affinity does better. Um, illustrator has a lot of other vector tools that affinity doesn't have, but you can still get by with affinity designer, uh, vector wise, whatever you want to do. I've never really ran into anything major that I couldn't do a workaround in, uh, in affinity besides there, there's a couple few things that I'm going to touch on when I actually do this tutorial. I am going to do a tutorial, show you how to make a vector uh, BB eight, but today I'm going to skip ahead and just kind of show you how to take something that you've already made and give it some uh, brush work. So first I'm going to show you just the technical thing. If you're already an artist, you just need to know technically, Hey, give me a quick overview. How do I do this? I'm going to show you that right away. And then if you want to continue watching, uh, we're going to kind of go through and I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth and uh, give you some more concepts with rendering and stuff like that. So, uh, from a technical aspect, there's two different layers that you can make here in Affinity. You can make the normal layer, which is going to be a vector layer, and then the pixel layer, which is going to be for uh, uh, pixel-based stuff. So let's just come up to the top here, and I would just want to add a new... Actually, let me add both. Okay, so I have a new layer and a new pixel layer. Um, I can't... First of all, we have to go, this is the normal uh, draw persona, and you can see which tools we have here. When you go into the pixel persona, your tools are going to change, and you're going to have the ability to go in and pick this brush tool here. Um, so let's just take this and start drawing. As you can see, I'm on the pixel layer here. Um, I can't use the brush tool on a normal layer. So you have to make a pixel layer in order for this to work. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a bright green. We're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give a, drop that opacity down by half. And uh, uh, let's just kind of go through and do a little of this. Cause uh, ultimately, you know, that's what, you're going to be doing is kind of shading some stuff here. So you don't want to have to do this and then go in with an eraser and uh, try to erase that up. That would, you know, that would take far too long to try to do, you know, one of these kind of jobs. And of course you're probably going to want to drop it down into a, uh, a darken or something like that. Multiply layer. Um, so what you're going to want to do with this is after you make your pixel layer, you're going to want to go to your pixel BB-8 and then uh, I'm going to the body right here. Here is our pixel layer. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to drop this <clears throat> into that layer. Not like this, but like directly into it. And then now you can see we've masked out that layer. So now I can kind of keep going in this with the uh, brush tool and <clears throat> I don't have to worry about going outside of the lines. And <clears throat> of course, you know, pick whatever brushes you want. You can do whatever you want. So this from a technical aspect is all you really have to do is, is uh, make a pixel layer Go to the pixel persona and drop your pixel layer into the uh, element that you want. And then here I'm going to take this off and I'm going to, you know, take that out of that layer and uh, 
the same thing. Now you can see that that's what it looks like. You don't got time to erase, so you want to drop it back down. Whoops. And like I was saying, you want to make sure it's all the way over so it's going into that layer and uh, it's becoming part of that layer. And that this layer, whatever this top is, uh, is going to mask out everything. So if that's good enough for you, that's good enough for you. I'm going to go into a new document here because there was a lot, there's a lot going on here. And uh, I just want to kind of redo something and just take a simple sphere and just kind of show you guys the process again. That way um, uh, you can just see it real simple. Okay, you have your ellipse. New pixel layer. Uh, pixel persona. Brush. Pick a brush you want. Let's go with this one. Size it up and, you know, just do a quick test. Draw some scribbles and then drop it into... Here's under. Okay, we don't want under. We want in. And now that's being masked. Um, yes, you can do multiple. So you can keep building up pixel layers in this. Uh, that way. Let me do an undo here. Let me just get rid of this pixel layer. So let me create a new layer. Drop it down. Okay. And then let me create a draw layer up here so I can draw some stuff. Um, okay. So now we're going to get into non-technical stuff and we're going to get a little bit into rendering. So BB-8 here is a sphere, and depending where you're coming from artistically, uh, a lot of vector people understand flat shapes, and uh, they understand the gradient tool, but they don't necessarily understand how to render as much. So I'm just going to give a quick, real basic guide in kind of how to render out a, uh, a sphere, and... Um, if you are recreating BB-8, I would recommend doing, you know, these two separately instead of taking all of a BB-8 and trying to, you know, shade everything together. I'd recommend doing it separately. So basically, we're going to want to set up a light source. And all we're doing is this is still life, okay? Um, the light's going to be here. The light's going to be bouncing here, here, here. Uh, if we put a floor in, you know, it's going to be bouncing back and forth from here. Um, but in general, your light just bounces on an object and back off an object. So let's take a gray. Let's go in here. All we're going to do is a simple airbrush. Um... And we're even going to drop this down to 10% because we're going to go real slow here. And the light's coming in this way. So, you know, we're just going to kind of keep shading this way. And it's as simple as kind of seeing, you know, where the light is. Man, even 10 percent's a little... A little harsh. Uh, I can drop this down to about four here. And you want to go, you want to go big with the brush and small with the brush, but you want to get a smooth gradation. And I would recommend if you kind of did grow up in the digital era and you had, and you didn't do actual still life drawings, um, I don't see any reason why not to go grab a, uh, you know, just some, maybe a Christmas ornament, a, uh, man, I'm trying to think what else is, even just candles, glasses, cups, and uh, set them up and go ahead and try to kind of render stuff out. I am on a Wacom tablet here. Um, actually, I take that back. I am on a, uh, it's called AstroPad. 
and I'm on an iPad. Um, so it kind of does the Cintiq. I'm going to bounce up to uh, 30, 30 for the opacity, and now I'm going to kind of come on the bottom here a little bit. But as you can see, I'm kind of rushing this for this video, but you kind of get what's going on here and uh, how to kind of render out objects. And uh, you just kind of want to get very opacity. And uh, we can even go in now with a highlight. Kind of highlight that down. Kind of go in and get a little bit of a specular going. But th this is the basic concept of how to do this. Uh, let's get another pixel layer going. Uh, you know what? I take that back. Let's do, because we're in Affinity, and that's what makes Affinity great, is bouncing back and forth from pixels to vector. Uh, we'll make a vector layer. Go back to vector. Uh, I'll do this. And let's go ahead and make that black. Let's put a blur effect on it. And the light's going to be kind of bouncing that way. And then we can uh, drop the layer opacity. Okay. So one other thing we can do then, once you kind of get good at this and you get what's going on with that, uh, uh, I usually do the normal shading first and then go in with... Uh, um, some grunge layers and stuff. So let's go back into our pixel persona and uh, I'm in a sorted. I usually go to like texture and there's a good one. I like that's default with affinity. You'll have this one in and it's going to be called uh, grunge seven. Okay. So let's kind of go, let, let's do maybe a, well, let's keep it simple here. Okay. But now I'm kind of going in. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I'm not on my layer. Okay. But now we're kind of going in and we're just adding some texture. I'm on a high opacity here. Let me undo a couple steps here. Uh, let me drop my opacity down to like 20% for this. And as you can see, we're just going to just put a little texture in this with the texture brush. It's as simple as that. And we're going to come down. Maybe I'll go up to 50 here. And I'll come around the edge. And then now we can kind of go up to 100. Okay, and then now... Let's go to white. Let's kind of add a little, oh, that might have been. Let's go to 40%. And there we go. So, um, you know, th this isn't even that great. There's a little, you know, that's not as spherical as I can get. I can do better on this, but, um, uh, the point is, this is what you're doing to this. And I didn't go that drastic with this, but that's how you achieve that look. And you should definitely be practicing because the better you are at just doing this, you know, the better and more realistic your stuff's going to turn out. So that's how to use Pixel Personas. Um, if you have any questions... Uh, feel free to comment below, and if you want to follow me, uh, go ahead and follow me. I will, uh, hopefully pretty soon, I'm going to do this in Vector and show you guys the steps. This tutorial is going to have a lot with masks. I showed you just real quick how to mask for Pixel Persona, but, um, I mean, his whole body is, like, just 
a bunch of masks and how to set up. You know, as you can see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you. There's a lot of cool stuff to learn doing this BB-8, and it's still pretty simple. It's still beginner. Uh, this is a beginner uh, pixel persona kind of overview. And uh, come back soon. I'm going to keep showing you guys a lot of cool stuff with Affinity.